Welcome back to the island of Dr. Marwu, where we are working on Spino. Nope, Spino, not Krakaradonosaurus. He has no hybrids. He's not special enough. Looks like we do have a bit of work cut out for us for finishing up Spino. Uh, also, one of the Sinoceratops separated out from the herd, which is a little bit of a problem let's do uh let's do this let's do you two on fossils we rest this person we're to breed more sinoceratops to try to make sure that they don't separate out and become uh angry so like the ankies are solo right you can just have one anky in a park and it's fine so we don't need to worry about them but the sinoceratops are obnoxiously solo which means this shit's gonna happen Okay, it resolved itself this time, but, like, can't actually count on that shit. Because they're kind of dumb. They just kind of waddle around. Okay, that one's running over there, at least. That's going to help. Fill in that gap. Go. Okay, well, everything's going good. We got a new set of large amenities replacing the mediums on the herbivore paddock. So it looks like, uh, other than some config issues to be resolved, everything's doing really good there. So yeah, uh, a quick round of Sinoceratops. And a five, go. All right. Okay, uh, Social Humble Alpha is actually an improvement, I think, right? Because the other ones were weirdly unfit, except for one, like, regular Humble or something. That's cool, I guess. We actually get a useful one there. Boom. These guys don't seem nearly as bad as Anki. Like, at least they got a batch size of four, and they're less than a million dollars to clone and stuff. But, like, they're not good. They're just not as utterly unusable as the Ankylosaurus. And how about, we did fossils, so like, oh yeah, right, because the resting guy was needed for the other, the other part of the expedition. Uh, uh -huh. So we should really clear out this expensive dig site first to make sure, like, we're not pulling just Carcaronosaurus out of the other one over here, Baharia. Chanini. Yeah. So we could just do a batch of fossils right now, which is frankly worthwhile. Let's do it. Wait, weren't we at like 70? Oh, this is almost all Carcar. Okay. Yeah, 74 on Spino. Yeah, then we'll have another rest. Whatever. Okay, uh, wait, why, why can't I, oh, I just don't have the money. Well, fucking shit, yeah, that makes sense. That's totally understandable. I also actually never rested, cool, but, like, we're also not gonna have money because uh, it's another storm, shocking. Uh, get these guys out during the storm, I guess, at least. I have started to work on uh, park expansions over there to move into a carnivore sector. And a parasaur has died. And a structure has broke already. Okay. Uh, you. Okay. Uh, wait, something else is broken. Oh, uh, this. Hmm. Okay, uh, queue of fence repairs. A little bit of damage there. That one wasn't too bad. You never really know. It's one of those, like, bimodal storms where sometimes it's really bad and other times it's just, like, kinda bad. Can I move? No! Okay, it doesn't. It resets. I was about to lose my shit if uh, that wouldn't reattach. Yeah, move this like this. That way it's not awkwardly on the that path. Can I just like make this not weird? I mean it's kind of weird regardless, right? Because of the way the angle of the building is, but like 
It's straight with the path. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm happy with it. It's fine. Another carcass. Okay. Uh, two million seven hundred k. Like we're almost there. We're getting there. So, Cynoceratops number five, mangrove pilophylax. Uh, give me a day time. Okay. Yeah, that one's not bad. Nice little purple, like a frilled actual colors on it. Cool. Um, number six. I hate that the camera, like, de this just detaches. It's uh, frustrating. When I just want to look at them. This was a Rana, right? Limpopo Rana. So that's just like the regular Sinoceratops colors, just on a darker base. Yeah, he certainly does exist. He certainly, he certainly do be a thing. These guys should have had better. Well, I mean, I guess the pattern is the film pattern, which really is just the frill spots. So I get it. And you, Sonoran Rana. So yeah. Orange with the regular fill spots, and then the camera jumps all the way back up to the goddamn sky. And number eight, number eight, Sonoran lethal bait. Purple, purple and pink, good color. The the base color is just mud again. A little red stripes in the back. All right, well, whatever. Well, a little bit of uh, terraforming later, and suddenly I have $4 million, and I can actually afford to go looking for Spinosaurus. So, that's what we'll do. Go look for Spino, and then sit here and do nothing else in the meantime. Somehow, these Sinoceratopses are still barely connected by just a little neck between the front and back of the enclosure. But if they separate out, like... Eight should be enough to maintain like two herds pretty well. Um, so I don't think we'll run into any issues at least with that. At least we better not, or I'll get angry. Well, another storm later, another concussion. Time for more spino though. 74 and 17. Actually getting kind of close. Um This dig site still open? No. So the rest of it's got to come out of the shared one. Upside, it's cheaper. So at least the expensive one is done. Uh, excuse me, friend. We do seem to have a bunch of damage to the raptor pen, which might be from them hitting the fences, actually. Didn't consider that. No, that's storm damage. Echo got a boo-boo. Oh, and that's also a major fracture on this goddamn Gallimimus? Jesus. Triple major fractures, or triple major injuries, is uh, pretty obnoxious. Not gonna lie. 25 seconds on the para. Well, I got the next section of the park kind of set up. We'll go look at that. So this up here, I put in a perimeter fence. Which we're going to carve off enclosures from, basically, to build... I actually didn't think I even built this. But okay, I did. Uh, to build uh, enclosures from, so... Okay, well, somebody's fucking dying. So the idea would be... Basically, this little hub here that can be remote viewing galleries to multiple enclosures. Um, about to see if this little hub extends too far to prevent... Uh, some enclosures can be put in here, even, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to play around with it. See how it works out. Um, yeah, I guess for now we'll just slap down one thing there, even though it's not going to be powered, just to finish up the, uh, the little thing I started, at least. We definitely want the Indoraptor and the Indominus Rex. We could skip the Scorpios Rex if, like, space is an issue. We do have the other sector of the park that we can fill in, though, so maybe we'll just have to extend a little further and redesign this. Get over there. Uh, how in the fuck are you dying right now? You are starving. Are you dumb? He... Action is feeding. What the fuck?
Did this bug out? Hold on, are they all dying? Wait, they're all dying. The feeder bugged. Dude, I hate that shit. Let's just give him a meat feeder because I can't be bothered to micromanage this shit if it's gonna bug out on me. Um, how much water do you guys need? Not nearly this much. Cool! Uh, multiple bugs manifesting. Maybe that's uh update. Maybe that's just park size. Who knows? Hunter will feed your live party feeder. Okay. Well, they'll get fed. Um... I literally never even grab Echo over here. Hooray. Deliver. Treat. Okay. Uh... Five, ten, three, one mil, five, go. Forty nine are recovering, forty two, forty three. Okay. So it looks like they're they were all fed now. Now that we just gave them a feeder because the goat dispenser busted. I haven't seen anything on the raptors. It is weird with the feeders when sometimes they just seem to break. I also feel like it's kind of the same species that tend to be like weirdly have issues with things. I don't know. So yeah, I think this back corner here is like a good spino enclosure. Why don't we... I'm going to redo this, I think. Um, we can do... Throw some water deeper in here. And I can extend this. Oh, it doesn't go much further than that, actually. Okay, that's fine. We can leave this uh, without perfect visibility. We'll put the feeders near here. Make sure they're in range of the arc, and then that'll be good enough. Um, yeah, that'll work. We'll just arbitrarily uh, send a f section of fence across like that. Sure, why not? Velociraptor, ready to go. Get back over here. Uh, okay, and then the galley. Uh, yes, gala minus. Gala, gala, gala minus. It always bothered me that Timmy in Jurassic Park could remember gala, but couldn't remember Mimus. He should have been like Mimus, Mimus, gala minus. Or like Ornithomimus, Struthiomimus. Tremissimimus? No, Gallimimus. Something like that. Feels unrealistic. Th this is how deep I have to go to find critiques of the original film. Well, this is an interesting offer. 15 million for the most prestigious dinosaur. I don't even know what that is. Let's do it. That's whatever it is, easily worth it. We did just have a Stegoceratops die. Um... So what would it be? Let's take a peek. It's not a Carno. I would guess Ankylodocus? Oh yeah, they stole number two. Well, they didn't steal my Alpha. So that's fine. Yeah, uh, 15 million for one Ankylodocus to be sold to... I can only assume a selection of rich people who want to eat its meat in a steak dinner. Um, totally worthwhile. Completely worth it. Okay, well, there's another carcass spawning in. Another stego. What is your lifespan, friend? 
73. Oh no, that's a Stegosaurus dying. That's not a Stegoceratops dying. Okay, you in there. In there, please go. Med medical, medical, medical. He ate a bad thing. He's got a tummy ache. Go help him. He's not that smart. He needs your assistance really badly. And it looks like our expedition is also back. So. Hey, it's actually completed. Actually kind of wild. Um, yeah, you do this. Okay, uh, full steam ahead then on the Spinosaurus and Spinoraptor here. In the upper segment of the park. Quick check on current situation. Great. No reason to like pay any closer attention to amenities than that uh there's the medical van coming in cool we're just waiting for this i guess what we can do in the meantime is get ourselves a spine in sorted out well no because we need to finish the genome we can do raptors because we want a different group of raptors for the spinoraptor shared exhibit wait that doesn't work right because the spino and the raptors will fight So we just do Spinosaurus Spinoraptor for that exhibit. We don't do raptors. Yeah. We'll do the we'll do a second batch of raptors. I guess nowhere. Do we do a second enclosure? I'm sorry. Please fucking actually treat the goddamn hookworms, my guy. Come on now. We could do a second enclosure for Spinoraptor to have um a group that's paired up with Velociraptor, but I might not do that. Like, we did it here with the Stegoceratops because they can't cohab anywhere. Um, hold on. Does the Spinoraptor even cohab with Spinosaurus? I don't even know. Could it might only be Velociraptor? Oh, it's only Velociraptor. Okay. No, yeah, so we do need it. Um, okay, I'm going to use the big lake for Spinosaurus then. So let's get that done. Random, favorite the patterns, do some random Spino. Uh, Intall doesn't really matter here. Uh, what is the, hold on, what is the clutch size? Minpop 1. One egg. Okay, so let's just do uh, Max Humble. And then, yeah, we don't give any shits about Intall. So we're going to build up there at that lake and then cut the pen down just to fit the Spino. Ooh, we're a little, a little short. Six and a five, a four, a three, a five. I think we'll stick with that. So we need to um, reduce this. Yeah. You know what? No, it's probably fine. He's probably not going to die before this park ends, especially not since we got this $15 million gift, right? Yeah. So we get the Spino in, in the back, cut the pen down, build from there, build a Spino Raptor pen somewhere next to it, I guess, and, but far enough away that it's outside of the range of the intelligent trait. And then just keep span expanding outward. Until that sector is filled with intelligent carnivores, I guess. I think so. Well, as the storm rolls in, we can get our egg. Intel, 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 Humble. That's what we expect. Valbard Pilo. Pretty sure that's a Darth Maul spy now. Black and red. 
644 does the job. Everybody needs a rest afterwards. Please begin. Uh, with 10, can we get Rex at all? There should be a few Rex dig sites. That's Shoney. Yeah, unfortunately, none of them are 10. Okay. Well. Uh, whoever gets there, please. Okay, that's the bathroom, not the fence. The fences don't really go down anymore. It's pretty much exclusively the gates that are the problem. It means if we double gated everything, it'd be a really secure park, but we're not going to do that for aesthetic reasons. Because I don't want to. Mr. Spino, five friggin' minutes out. So, Spino is being airlifted over. Well, that's happening. Let's get these Spino Raptors ready to go. Um, oh, wait a second. The Spino Raptor likes Indominus Rex? So you're going to actually triple up Indo... I mean, that makes sense, right? If Indominus Rex and Velociraptor like each other, and Spino Raptor likes Velociraptor, then they probably should all like each other. Because theoretically in the context of Jurassic World, which is, by the way, I hate. I hate this. I think it's really stupid how the raptors can talk to each other. You, you sprinkle a little raptor DNA on your Tyrannosaur hybrid and suddenly it can speak raptor. Ridiculous. One of the, just so fucking stupid. That's not how, we can't talk to chimps. <laughs> we can't walk up to a chimp and like high five. You can't sprinkle a little human DNA on a chimp and like, well, you can high five a chimp, but. It's getting late. <laughs> uh, so I guess, yeah, we could share uh, an enclosure then with the Indominus. I wasn't counting on that. Uh, but that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I got to get rid of the Intol here then. Guess we'll clear the large appetite. Actually, they don't have too bad of a genetic spread. You're still able to 50-50 uh, humble social clearing out the negatives there. Oh, uh, yeah, no, everybody needs a nap after that shit. They're all very sleepy. I understand, little guys. Don't worry. Go take your naps. Nap time for all the employees. I understand. By all means. Really? Really? Okay, he's just bugged. Um. Fucking broken ass game, man. We couldn't even get a good bug fix, bug fix patch alongside this hybrid DLC, huh? We just get nothing. All right, Spino. He is in fact a Darth Maul Spino. Thought he would be. So yeah, that is a Svalbard Pilophylax. Forest, open space, water. He's got actually all the water he ever needs within his own circle. Why does the Spino need relatively little water? Huh. Okay, well, if he's actually okay with a smaller lake, I'm probably going to move him. Uh, we can use this, then, as the other pen. I'll have to make the lake. Well, we can use probably this one, actually, probably works. We can expand it a little bit. Sure. We'll do that. Okay, well, in that case, um, so his big angry radius is there. That's how far the big angry spreads. I mean, this lake's kind of weirdly, like, in the middle of nowhere. 
So this this feels better to me because we'll probably have a couple of clutches of Spinoraptors, Velociraptor, and Dominus Rex. So it makes sense to me to like use this pen for all of that. But yeah, I'm not sure if I actually want to do Spino here. Maybe it just has to go back in the corner more. Let's do that. Okay, well, he'll be fine there for now. I think we'll just do... We just do one of these. Uh, one, two, three. Right there. Also, what's with the weird square terrain in this corner? You see this shit? This is just there normally. I saw that when I was putting the stuff in. Let's just smooth that out because it looks really weird. Uh, let's do the old uh, viewing gallery, build the lake around it trick because that always looks good. Dome viewing gallery, yeah. Lagoon viewing dome, right. For a moment, I had the idea of like the aviary dome. It's like the viewing gallery itself is also a dome. So I had a moment where my brain was just short circuiting and confused. If you do the log, see the thing I hate about the log is that it's double wedges. So there's just dead zones. It's just not good. I mean, it makes sense, but it's just a little worse because of it, you know? We'll do that. Okay, and then we do uh, one of these, and we do one of these, and we do one of these. Oh, that's maybe a little bigger than I want. No, that's fine. A little, a little like, yeah, that, I like that. I like that the, the island is not, like, perfect. I dig it. I dig it. One of you. I'm going to flatten this. Oh, there's not, like, that weird dip so close to the water it feels very wrong when the water's at a higher elevation than the nearby terrain because it makes no goddamn sense do a gate over i don't know there we'll do uh one of these old uh here you know things put it on, let's put it on the island i like it i like it on the island thematically it's uh it's interesting to have all the stuff on the island it makes no sense like strategically but you know go for it okay and then now that we got uh this shit yeah shelter is gonna be a thing really that was a bad thing to pick probably i should have thought for another second maybe okay uh you ranger team three you can take this give me storm defense give me training and a storm Get the fuck out of here with this shit every three minutes every moment storm approaching Attention, storm is approaching the island. Okay. Um, yeah, our dudes are rested. These are 12. Doesn't really matter. We just dispatch the three. Okay. Uh, and then for our velociraptors... Well, if it's the Indominus pen, it's the four, it's the other, it's the Raptor squad. So we'll bring a new Raptor squad because a bunch of these were aggressive, which seems like it'll still cause a problem. But we'll just have to mix it up. Okay, already broken. Uh, what do we lose? We lost this. Powers. Oh, that's a, a different one. Oh god, okay. Dinosaur threat already over here.
Okay, well that one seemed like that was uh, not that bad. Well, this seems good. Ranger Team 3, if you wouldn't mind. Take a look at my boy. I need to know how he's doing over here. Uh, shelters. Wait for those claw marks to drop. There we go. Boom. Shelters open. Uh, okay. That really did cut a lot of power, but whatever. Uh, intelligent. Aggressive. We'll skip aggressive. I could just try it. Nah, we'll skip the aggressive. Uh, Raptor. Another dead Stegoceratops. Oh, shit. I forgot about you. Okay, reset your movement. <laughs> you're fine. You got healed, so you weren't starving to death. Uh, yes, you're, you're Angie. You need forest. I understand. There's your forest, you fucking nerd. Plenty of forest, water, fish, open space. Okay, I mean, that seems like a, a fine enough size for him. Um, I'm not going to change it. Should work. Okay. So, yeah, I think, I think we can fit pretty safely four enclosures in here. Maybe even five if we get creative in the middle. We'll see. So, yeah, definitely build up the uh, the carnivore sector here. Ratings check. Uh, with the introduction of Spino, actually not that bad on amenities somehow. Publicity rating is still down. I imagine we're going to need some here, though, so we should probably just go ahead and get them in. You know, I could just skip all the rigmarole of, like, min-maxing and just go straight for large. Why is that? For fuck's sake. I can. I think, personally, on some level. Oh, uh, but what is this level? I fucking hate that. Like, if, if you don't have a contour line that tells you that the elevation levels are different, it should be fine. You shouldn't have to move anything. The, ter the terrain should, like, micro-adjust to accommodate it. Or just clip si slightly or something. Like, it's pretty annoying when you have to actually really min-max the shit. So presumably this one's also bad. Maybe now we're good. Can I put an amenity in here? All uh, right. Yes. Okay. Thank fuck. That was going to drive me insane. All right. We need white. We need green. We need orange. Uh, you. Actually, pulling a fairly decent number there. Looks like we can't fit three here. I can adjust it, maybe, if I really want to. Um, sorry, what the? Yeah, I guess they're using all the drinks down the hill, uh, so this one doesn't actually matter. Um, whatever.
Still gonna put these in. Oh, fuck off. So that was on the level with those, and this probably re-leveled because it clipped the corner of that hill. I'm just gonna fucking delete you. Uh, it fits. Perfect. Flawless. Um, you have no power. I'm gonna assume you need, I don't know, those to start with. So, and then I wanna go here. Just kind of perfectly run the path pass like that. And I guess I'll extend it out here too at the point that I've deleted that because I might as well. And I guess we'll just move you over there instead. Ta da! Okay, uh, what are we doing? Where are we at on those boys? Fun raptors are going. Raptors. Int. Aggressive. Int. Int. Aggressive. Int. Okay. Charlie. Echo. Charlie. Echo. That's fine. I'm not so worried about having like the full like real raptor squad, you know, one of each. We can grab uh, another Echo from over here. That's really funny. I mean, these guys are getting old enough. They'll be dying, so. No worries. Okay. No access. Yeah, I guess that one doesn't have a gate, huh? Put a gate on it, at least temporarily. If we shrink it down, we can move it. Okay, raptors ready to go. We'll do the spawn raptors first. Three, two, one, zero. So, hatching two, min pop two. Yeah, we definitely want more spawn raptors. Go ahead and get like a goat feeder in here too for the other guys. And then once they're clear, we'll do a second clutch of spino raptors. We can do one that's um, explicitly bioluminescent, maybe. Um, I don't know what we got from the first one, I suppose. But we could wait and see. Then I suppose because we don't have the indom, I might actually leave this pen alone and not shrink it down ever. Because it's not gonna we're not gonna have Indominus Rex until we actually can take the time to dig up Rex. Let's just do a random Oh, we also need Spinoceratops. Hold on, let's do Spinoceratops first. I forgot that we have two spino hybrids, because it's awkward and weird that that's the thing. We do have Angel and uh Rebel. Let's just do a set of randoms, and then we'll do a second wave of uh, Lux if we specifically need it. Like if we don't get any. Get rid of the short-lived. Get rid of the Intol. Uh, weak. Uh, let's get rid of Weak, because it messes with the gene spread otherwise. Social. Humble. There you go. Whoa, 25% chance of intelligent. What? Wait, that's... What does that even mean? They eat fish. What? Do we think that's a mistake? I feel like that's kind of got to be sort of a mistake. Why is this food... I still am continuously flabbergasted by the amount of button prompts that it takes. I know it doesn't matter, but like, it really infuriates me. And it takes so many button presses to switch that over. 
Okay, uh, hats. Who died? New dead, who dis? Stegosaurus. We'll probably, um, how are we doing on stegs? Down to six. We could do another round of stegosauruses soon, too. All right, Spino Raptor number one. Uh, Gambiarana. Oh, I, I like that he looked like a deeper green at night. He's not like bad or anything. I just like the deep green with the black stripes. It looked cool. See, that looks really sick. Forest and meat. Wait, he needs meat? Why the fuck does he need fish and meat? And not goat? Huh? Alright, well, I have a, another feeder here, I guess. Whatever. Number two. Svalbard Alethobates. The blue is nice. I can dig the blue. So yeah, no uh no lux in that match. Uh there's a Velociraptor. You gonna go say hi? Kinda. Not really. Okay. Final Ceratop. Giddish. Intelligent. Breaks out of reach nearby food, guests, and dinosaurs. Okay. So we'll like go attack guests. Uh so we just don't hatch those. We'll do Lux specifically. Perfect. The girls are fighting. Yeah, the spider raptor does have the benefit of just kind of looking like a dinosaur. Like it could just be it could just be a weird spinosaurid or something. Maybe a nice like early proto. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, what happened to his eye? They're just gone. <laughs> what about you? Your eyes are like Yeah, you still have you still have a regular eye. <laughs> what the shit? That's really funny looking. <laughs> so that's like an animation glitch where the eye disappears. It's actually a pretty sick looking eye. That's really funny. Okay, well, there they are. Raptors are in. Raptors are fine. Okay. Well, then. Yeah, that stuff's still on the way. Okay, well, uh, we got two minutes here, and we are at time so why don't we just leave a nice cliffhanger for next time that way every uh hybrid gets their own you know episode their own thumbnail their own like spotlight right so we'll yeah we'll end this one here uh until then